Japan, that's what they call me. What is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you a video and I totally butchered that intro, but we're going to roll with it. <laughs> it's your man, Tildy Crab Man, and I'm going to be showing you guys regional quests and how to get your prestige quests. How, how that all works. Um, I actually didn't understand uh, how confusing it was until uh, my lady brought it up yesterday. By the way, which... Um, uh, I'm just gonna talk about really quick. She's actually the reason why I've been actually able to help you guys out a lot is because these are questions that she's been asking me while playing this game. And it never occurred to me that somebody who doesn't play a lot of games or somebody who um, has never really played an MMO would have these kind of questions or, you know, have no idea on how this stuff works. Um, would be questioning this stuff. So um, this is uh, basically a big way on how I'm able to help all of you guys. But uh, anyways, let's get into it. So what I'm going to be showing you guys is your regional quest. If you don't know, which um, most do or a lot do, but not everyone. Your regional quests are these repeatables, okay? Um, they... Well, at the moment, uh, I can't really show you guys unless I TP there. Um, I will teleport there and show you guys in person towards the end. But just to get it over with, uh, or not over with, but just to help you guys out really quick, let me show you. So basically, your regional quests are going to be here, okay? They're going to be these repeatable quests, which I'm sure I might have. Yeah, here we go. So, they're these repeatable quests, they're kind of like this, okay? This is actually one of them for the Carzo, Carza Core. Yeah, there we go. And it's obtained Mushroom Caps. It's always the same amount, always the same quest, and you can do it three times. Well, I just actually wanted to throw this out for those who don't know who have been doing these regional quests. Did you know that if you collect all 21 Mushroom Caps at once, you can actually turn in all three of the quests at one time? You don't have to make several trips back and forth turning in the quest. You can do it all at once. He'll, in fact, he'll even say, I can do all three of those right now. And he'll accept all three and give you your 300 points plus whatever your reputation bonus is. Now, granted, saying that, check this out. Stay with me here. If you turn in all three quests at the same time, is the percentage of reputation points that you get extra with your gear your highest piece of gear by the way it only counts with the highest piece of reputation points gear that you have so basically if your head has a 12 percent increase and your feet have a five percent increase it's going to take the head with a 12 percent increase it's not going to take all the pieces so don't buy a whole set of reputation pieces but now you know but my question is 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 it going to take 12% of 300 or is it going to take 12% of 100 individually which would be less I would assume than 300 at 12% um, or the same I'm not 100% sure on the map there but it's just an idea floating around out there anyways you're going to do these repeatable quests that spawn in each region now when I say region your regions are going to be let me zoom out here your uh Trisda, the the Trisda, whatever it's called, uh, ruins of the Trisda. This this place basically. This is one region, okay. And then the Kazgor Plains. That's another region. Nirvana is another region. Uh, uh, you can see it. The Nullways and the Timeless Jungles. These are all separate regions. Now, within these regions, you have your regional quests that then lead after completing them and getting your um, if you go to your pause button and go to mastery and reputation you can hit the right bumper and it'll take you over here these are indeed your reputations now I think I've said it in a past video that um, you have to score over 5,000 um, points to be able to become honored uh, as far as I know I'm not quite there yet I haven't really been focused on the main quest at the moment doing these um, I, I've been more focused on getting my gear upgrade right now I'm almost at 960 something gear score 950 is, is what I'm aiming for I think right now I'm at like 915 
Um, but we're trying to get her gear score up so that we could go down to the lower uh, or the higher level areas and just do everything. But uh, basically, yeah, this is where you'll find your reputations. Now, if you're wondering what the Vosslin and the Sin are, these are over here. Let me let me show you real quick. Those are reputations and regions that you can find way down here in the Red Sun settlement, I believe. Or I, I I think I might be wrong. Hold on, let me let me think about this for a second. It's 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 a later on factions that you can find that are in the undiscovered area that I have yet to discover. Yeah, I'm not I'm not trying to rush the game too much on myself. But uh, anyways, so yeah, so these once you get those up to five thousand, okay, these then become prestige quests, which um, I can't really show you because of the damn quests that we got on here, but once they become prestige quests, you have to be honored within the region, level 25, and then you'll go to each of these events. Like this one's the boss, um, another boss, and then usually there's, uh, uh, there's usually a couple of events going on like these, like the cross swords. Um, or that for instance, um, but anyways, you'll complete those these events and which will then give you a Blue chest. It's a level 25 blue chest. I do not know if it's sealed or unsealed But um, and which in that case you would need a key maybe I, I'm not 100% like I said But at that point then they become prestige quests. now check this out. There's another part um, that I've been seeing um, in the luminous shop, okay? Now, I don't know if these are the same prestige points as your prestige quest in the game or if this is separate to what you spend in the store. So if you look here, this is your prestige status rank. Okay, your prestige status rank is either the total amount of points you have in your prestige quests or your reputation or the total amount you have um, separately as maybe points that they consider in the luminous store. I, I don't see that being a thing. Like kind of like a rewards program for their shop, which would be kind of cool in the first game that I've ever seen. That's kind of a rewards program for their store, which is really neat if that was the case. But I'm pretty sure these are your prestige points that you get from doing your prestige missions and doing your regional missions. Um, well, that was the total of that. 6,198, I, I believe, was the... Yeah, 6,198. So let's let's check here real quick. Let's go to the reputation points. So that was the total right now. I have three, four, five, uh, seven. Definitely, I, I definitely don't think it's these because I have well over 6,000 points over here. So I think it is a... Um, whoosh. Um, a rewards kind of system within their store that they have. Um, I don't know if a lot of people have seen that, but yeah, so the, the the amount of money you spend in here over time gets you rewards like at 8 you get whatever um, costume this is. It's a legendary raw red Hawthorne costume which looks identical to the campaign here um, it looks identical to, to this costume here if, if I can see it yeah yeah it, it's kind of the same thing but um, it's, it's just gold uh, anyways I just wanted to share that with you guys really quick um, now if you are still watching and uh, you're you're very intrigued and still want to learn. I am going to travel over here really quick to show you guys um, the repeatable quest and, and kind of what to expect from it. So, let me just head over to the Kazakor place here. Okay. Okay, so for all those new players out there that are wondering what the repeatable looks like, it is this man right here, okay? Um, I've had him to where he's had the side quest marker above him, and I've had him is like right now where he doesn't. Um, apparently right here. So, um, And they refresh every day so you could get 1,200 points and whatnot. 
But basically, where do I find the mushroom caps? He's usually got two. He's got two. One of them is the um, haunted fragments, which I don't have any on, on me at the moment. And the other one is the Kesporum mushroom cap. So, um, normally he also will show you where to go. So, like, this one right here is the mushroom fragments, and it will give you, you know, the little side quest mission. Like I said, you could do all three at once. And then turn them in and you're pretty much good. And then the other one is here. By the way, while you guys are doing this, um, definitely do as much possible. Because I'm sure by now you've seen that whatever progress you make while playing the game, even though week six is, week six is not available, you could still kind of read it, right? Earn gold from something blessing items for green blessing items, something like that. Add a uh, costume item to your wardrobe, defeat monsters, upgrade items. So you can read these. Well, whatever progress that you make while playing the game, it, it holds on to that. Okay, it holds on to that mission. So by the time when it comes over to, you know, the next week unlocks, like mine, week five, everything has been completed. It was unlocked for me. Everything's done, and I immediately was given the rewards. Um, but um, doing these kind of things kind of helps with that because there's a tree that you can kill that uh, went towards those points for me and really helped out a lot. But uh, anyways, that's what you're looking for is these repeatable guys. Once you get to the actual prestige quest, um, from there you're you're pretty much solid it's just basically another way that you get a guaranteed um, you know like six to eight chests whatever the exact amount of chest here is I, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that but it's a good way to get a lot of XP a lot of blues and a lot of stuff every day and um, it just it will help you with your overall rank and everything else so Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I try to keep it short and sweet to the point. I know uh, people don't like um, hearing YouTubers really beat around the bush too much and stretching information out. So I, I try to get it out there as fast as you guys can. And if you uh, stay to hear me ramble at the end of the video, then um, that's, that's for your extra entertainment. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's been slow. I'm... I guess I will see y'all on the next video, and I, uh, please, please comment down below. Uh, like I said, uh, we really appreciate the feedback, and, and really appreciate uh, y'all talking to us, and I do respond to everybody. Um, as soon as I get notified, man, I will definitely get a hold of you guys and talk to you and uh, keep the conversation going for as long as you like and as long as you have questions um i will respond to you so um yeah if you find yourself uh that this video helped you out at all uh please you know hit the like button it really helps me out as a youtuber um i know i'm not big and fancy out there like most people and the the big timers but uh I don't, I don't get paid for doing any of this, so it, it really makes me feel good just uh, as a YouTuber myself to see that you guys actually enjoy the videos and stuff. And if you don't want to smash the like button or comment or subscribe, um, I at least I, I hope the video was able to help you at some point in time. So, um, But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I will see you all next time, TLD Nation. This has been your man, TLD Crabman, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.